Take the next left onto Bardstown Bourbon Company service road. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. Your destination is on the left. Hello. So the second part of my surprise is I am doing a bottle pick, a barrel pick for Texas Mart, one of our uh, one of our favorite liquor stores up in Kalamazoo. And I am here at Bardstown, and Bardstown Distillery, that is. So I'm gonna meet up with some folks. We're gonna go in and see what it's all about. So behind me is the still. And now behind me is all the Rick houses. So let's go in and see what we got. This is gonna be cool. This is our first Origin Series rye whiskey single barrel pick. Yes. So, uh, so excited. 95% rye, 5% barley. Nice. We've got four different barrels out, um, different toast levels, different time in the cherry wood. So, I'll explain that when we get outside. Uh, but yeah, let's head upstairs. We'll go around the distillery. Is this anyone's first time here? Yeah, we've got a couple. A few of you? Okay, cool. Awesome. Everybody else, everybody else did the pick last year. Yeah, okay. Cool. Glad to have you all back. So, is the master still around? Oh, today? You know, I haven't seen. Him. Okay, you might run into him though. I asked last year. Yeah, his, his assistant was here, but he wasn't. Okay, okay fair yeah. enough. Well, we might get lucky and find him, but okay. come on this way. We don't, uh, at least not like to the public, um, mainly because it's like a food grade facility and we can't use yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. everything. So, and then uh, yeah. also we, we bottle for a whole lot of NDA oh, okay. customers. So in the distillery, it's easier when we're producing for an NDA because it's white dog coming off the still. You don't know who it's going to, but on bottling, when you see it's cool. Somebody's They've got their label bottle. and everything on there? Yeah, yeah. with yeah. the bottle and the label going across the line, uh, some of our customers don't want you all to see that. And so we just decided we'd skip that part of the tour. But uh, feel free, in the distillery, feel free to take photos and videos, everything you see. Uh, nothing to hide in here. So come on this way. Yeah. Oh, 
Arsenal and Copper Doubler as well. So basically everything you'll see in here, we have another facility right behind here, just about half the size. So last year we did just at about 120,000 barrels. This year we're projecting about 175,000. So 55, 60,000 more barrels coming off that new spill. So that'll help us out. You know, just we're doing all the contract distilling slowing that down at all, but what we are changing is our own production. We want to be a global brand, right? So we got to start laying down more barrels for ourselves. Uh, so that's where that new still will come into place, where we can kind of still do both. Grow our brand and grow our contract. So all of the writing has to be grown. We've gotten some from Canada. Uh, I don't know exactly what, but we can find that out. But I know we do some for Canada sometimes. Who are you just selling today? Whiskey Advisors. You know, I'm not familiar with them. Uh, so we're dropping this cooler right now. So it's going to be going out of here. It's going through this mass cooler over there. And it'll be pumping directly into one of our fermenting tanks. This is Nick Smith, our head distiller. How we doing, guys? In the hallway. Yep. All right. Yeah. Happy? All right. Yeah. I was the guy that asked all the questions back. about MTP. So. so a lot of our customers, they range from craft distillers, the biggest distillers out there, they're larger than us, uh, people starting brands, and big thing now, it takes money to make money. So barrel brokers and investors in the bourbon. So this one right here will be a barrel broker. So this is just one of his entity names. So he's laying down bar barrels and then he would sell those as two year, four year, six year for whatever anybody's looking for on the market. So we're laying down a base recipe for him. And then he'll sell those later on. Those won't actually go to a bottle or brand or anything like that. So and that individual has about three different entities with us. He's partners with a couple other ones and things like that. So, so when y'all want to start your own brand and we don't have any more capacity for you, yeah. just call him yeah. and he'll have some barrels waiting. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, if you can lay down four million dollars worth of new make and a thousand dollars a barrel and hold on to that, not worry about that money, just pay the taxes and things on it, four years later. Sell those barrels for four thousand dollars a piece, seven thousand quadruple for that investment. So a lot of people have gotten into investment on purpose and things like that as well, because it's a booming market right now. So yeah. Thank you. Getting ready to head out. Yeah, Tell us what's special about your rice that uh, we're going to be tasting today. Oh yeah, well, he was rye, asking, dude, is all the rye domestic? We get some from Canada, right? Some from Canada. It might be grown in southern Canada, but we're not bringing over any from Europe. Uh, most of your European rye is going to be most of your food grade stuff like that that be coming over here. Most all of ours is going to come from your northern U.S. area, but some in your southern Canada. That's where it's grown a lot heavier. So you're looking at your Wyoming, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, kind of all that region. And then we actually have it brought in either on rail car or barge. So if it's on barge, it hits Ohio River, rail car, you know, railroad tracks. It's going to make its way down to Louisville or Jeffersonville, Indiana, right there off the Ohio to an elevator called CGB. Consolidated grain barge, and then we have it trucked in from there. So, what's what's special about the rice we're going to taste today? What, what do you guys do differently than everybody else does with the rye? I'm just curious. Uh, I, I prevented it from foaming over anymore. Uh, <laughs> is one of them. So that was a recipe. So if you're doing like the 95 uh, five rise, that was one that was very tricky for me. So I came from Jim Beam, never ran like true rye whiskeys like that. Uh, so the first time I ran it, I had some volcanoing coming out of the fermenter. So, you know, you always learn from your mistakes. So me and the quality manager kind of took it upon ourselves to figure out our cook process, our enzyme process, uh, temperatures, everything like that. We wanted to raise the yield. It's not a very high yielding because we don't have as much starch with all, you don't have all that corn in there. So, you know, in the same amount of time where I could get 38 barrels of fermenter on regular bourbons on high corn, I switched to rye whiskey at like 28 barrels for a fermenter. So you're taking that loss and on your same exact production time. So we actually raised the yield by 0.3. 
over the last few years, uh, which is a lot better. We're getting about 32 barrels per fermenter on that now. We have no foaming in the fermentation, which is very good. So we worked with one of our enzyme suppliers on what enzymes to use to cut back on that foam and what temperatures to put those in so they would stay active throughout fermentation and not kill out in the cook. Uh, change our cook times, temperatures, and everything like that. I'm starting to cook at a lot lower temperature now, and I'm only taking our rye whiskeys up to about 145 degrees in the cook process. Uh, that's helping a lot with that yield and the foaming and fermentation as well. Different things we do with our origin rye whiskey is finish it off in that hybrid barrel. It has the oak cherry, oak cherry alternating staves impact some of that sweetness. A lot of rye, you're gonna get more of your pepper, spice, more of your heat taste on that. So that cherry wood gets a lot of floral fruity notes in that you typically don't have for rye whiskey. Looking forward to tasting your rye, I don't know what other one. Your bourbons last year were amazing. Your bourbons last year were amazing. It's one of the few mix I've been to where it was hard to eliminate even a single barrel. Seriously. Well, tell him to sell you more of them and then yeah. you can just say, yeah. <laughs> we just take one. Take Come one of these. All right. Pleasure to see you again. Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks you. for coming in. All right. Hope to see you next year for your next barrel pick. Yep. Yep. Thank, Thank you. We did next year. Did Rob Bourbon last year? Did Rob Whiskey? We did next year. We did next year. There you go. Do the whole series. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Thank you.
big block of yeast. That's a lot of bread. <laughs> the warm one in here. So 100 acres here, two years ago, almost two years ago now, we bought about 350 acres across the road. Uh, right now, the only construction we've done over there is uh, just warehouses. We're on our third being built now, so that'll be our 17th. Uh, it's Started, it takes over, it outcompetes the natives, yeah. and you start to see other things dying because they can't live <laughs> in that environment. Some of them will actually poison the other trees that you want, including oak trees. We don't want that to happen. Enough agriculture. Uh, yeah. Well, agriculture is kind of central to making whiskey. Yeah. Oh, it's important. It hand in hand. So, uh, these are the four you're going to taste from. Like I said, all six years old, all 95% rye, 5% malted barley, uh, and they're all uh, finishing in that infrared You're toasted good. cherry wood. Because it's still a little cold in here, I went ahead and thieved all four of them and, and, and set them up inside. That way uh, they can kind of warm up to room temp. Uh, but because I want you all to do the thieving, whichever one you pick, we'll do a little celebratory toast and I'll let you all thieve. Uh, thief from it, so. 
Yeah. I think you want to put all the rest. Nah. So, uh, yeah, all the Rick House is completely non climate controlled. Uh, not all of them have a bar attached to it, I tell you that. But uh, this one holds, like I said, about 23,000 barrels, six floors. The biggest ones go up to seven floors, a little longer, a little wider. They're going to hold about 58,000 barrels. So, any questions or anything? Cool. Yeah, it's nice. Let's uh, let's head in here to Pete's place. That cold little <laughs> barn smell. Yeah. I love it. Walked in. I need the far right seat. Got you. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> this is a nice place. So if this is your first time here, uh, welcome to Pete's place, and if you've been here before, welcome again. But Pete Lofton was our founder, uh, serial entrepreneur, made a lot of money back in the 80s in the uh, telecommunications business. Um, he had a lot of different business ventures. He was in the high-end restaurant and nightclub like hospitality scene down in Florida. Uh, one of his big business ventures before this, he bought the Versace Mansion in Miami, uh, made that like a nightclub, bed and breakfast, bourbon, big bourbon lounge, big bourbon. Never planned on building his own distillery, was just going to source product, have somebody bottle it for him with his label on, and he had his own house bourbon. But he saw uh, the demand for bourbon in the sourcing market and then saw there was not a lot of variety specifically in Kentucky bourbon. You all know the big you know, contract distiller up in Indiana, Midwest Grain Product. Uh, he wanted the Kentucky bourbon and there was nobody in Kentucky willing to custom make something for him on the scale that he wanted. So one thing led to another and then here we are. He decided he would just have somebody make it, uh, have, have his own place hire the right people to make it for him. So first person he called, Steve Nally, our master distiller. Then Steve kind of oversaw the construction and, and built the original team. Uh, so he brought in Nick Smith from Beam and a handful of other people. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Pete passed away back in 2019, unfortunately. Uh, so named this space in his honor, but then uh, uh, it's used for a lot of different things. Good place to do a barrel pick, but we do cocktail classes out here, different tours and tastings. Uh, this is also a space that our events team will bring out, private events, cocktail hours, things like that. So. Now what you all have here, got the four here, left to right, one, two, three, four, same thing you see out there, one, two, three, four. Um, I want to talk a little bit about West Virginia Great Barrel Company and talk about the zebra barrel or the infrared toasted cherrywood barrel. So you open up the book a couple pages in, you see the zebra barrel, and you kind of see what it looks like. And even outside, you, I should have pointed out when you're out there, you got these display barrels. We had them saw one and a half. Uh, you see the alternating stage, right? So what they do there in West Virginia uh, that, that's unique compared to what other Cooperages do is the infrared heat toasting. So uh, the liquid already aged, you know, six years just in its original charred white oak barrel. Then we transferred it into the infrared toasted cherry wood. Uh, and what that infrared heat does, it, it, it heats up inside of the staves just a little bit more than what just a flash charring would do. Level three char is just about a 45 second char where this toasting process takes up to about 15 minutes. Lower heat, but a much slower toast, just low and slow, you know, and uh, basically uh, it, 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 it opens up the wood just a little deeper and allows for more of the whiskey to go in, uh, and it really takes down some of the, the bitterness and the tannins that you get uh, in that, that wood. And cherry wood's cool. It's, it's very abundant in West Virginia, so they've got a lot of it there down there. Uh, but it's the only, or at least one of the only fruit woods that actually impart that fruit flavor. You made a barrel out of an apple tree, it's not gonna taste like apples, but they found out with that cherry wood, it really does uh, bring that cherry flavor. So they couldn't do an entire barrel 
of the cherry staves. That cherry, the grain is so much tighter. When we go back out, you can look at the staves a little more. It's so much tighter than the white oak, so it doesn't, not as much liquid soaks in. That's also why the, the, the toasting process is cool, because it allows for more, uh, but it doesn't swell as much as the white oak will. And uh, a barrel that was all cherry wood, they saw a lot of leaks, so. For every two cherry wood staves, there's going to be one white oak stave uh, wedged in there to help create a little better seal. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a cool process. Um, we initially experimented with it with one of our collaborations we did there with West Virginia Great Barrel Company. That was a six-year-old Indiana rye whiskey aged in those cherry barrels. Very small scale, probably less than 20 barrels. Then we realized we have our own rye whiskey, 95% rye, 5% malt barley that we were planning on bringing to market. So we pivoted and ordered a whole lot more of those cherry wood barrels from them. So, any questions or anything at all? So which products are you using the, these barrels with? Right now, just the rye. Okay. Yeah, just the rye. Uh, also on that next page, uh, you'll see these charts here. This is what's really cool. Uh, we ran samples from these barrels uh, through our HPLC machine in the lab. I worked with our chemist on that. High performance liquid chromatography. So it's separating and reading the chemical compounds that are made up in each sample. And there's hundreds of them, right? But we highlighted these five because uh, they're the most recognizable. We saw a lot of development over a period of time. So the first, uh, first chart on the left is the rock with no cherry wood at all and then you have uh, seven week and then 13 weeks so the gaelic acid saw the most growth that's your very stone fruit cherry kind of flavor furfural is really sweet caramel toffee notes uh, a little brown sugar that type flavor vanillin is going to be vanilla uh, coniferaldehyde is your herbal floral the aroma kind of and then send up out a hydro like baking spice all spice cinnamon so something to refer to and just see how uh, how that cherry wood affected the rye from what we saw uh, but we're not tasting off of you know what a computer in the lab is saying that's why you guys are still here to taste in person uh, but we just wanted to show you a little bit of, of our thought process and on why we decided to do this this year so is this just a, is this what this has been aging <coughs> the entire six years or is this just a, a finish? It's finish? just a finish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the juice was uh, just shy of six years when it went into the cherry. How long was the finish on this? These are all different. Uh, okay. And I have them. You know what? Don't, don't tell us. Okay. Until after. Let, let us taste things. I'm going to let you let taste, taste and then first. I'll give you more info. Because that's, I think, it's what we normally want to not yeah. have a whole ton of information. We'd rather taste and figure out what we like, I think. So, so the range. What's that? Just the range. Well, so I'll tell you, some of them, uh, let's see, we've got about five months to 14 months <coughs> in cherry, but there's different types of barrel, or same type of barrel, but there's light toast and there's medium toast, just a little lower for the fish, a little warm for those cherry barrels. Okay. Yeah. So okay. toasting's a little different, time in the barrel's a little different. So uh, I think with these four, there there is a lot of variation. So awesome. yeah, and I have the proofs as well. Not a lot of variation on the proof, uh, but uh, we're looking at 117 to 119. with us? I will, yeah. I'm gonna be awesome. So, barrel, do you need a spittoon? Are you guys good? Or? Barrel entry 120. Mom and Dad raise it yeah. later. So all these <laughs> lost at least a little bit of proof. Yeah, came down a little bit. Okay. Entry was 120? 125. Or 120. 120. They're, they're doing what MGB Four Roses do typically, but you want to make sure because they're doing some other interesting things that are different. So. All are so smart, they're not glass anymore. Yeah. <laughs> You only gotta lose a couple hundred glass times. And in the back of your book, there's a page for notes as well. Everybody should have it here. So. Take your time. I don't have any time. We pick a consistent profile so people can trust what we have. 
Uh, pluses are that oily mouthfeel, the viscosity, that's a great plus. Um, Profile-wise, we're looking for a sweet, especially up front. We don't mind heat, it is bourbon, it is stronger bourbon or rye, uh, but we prefer the heat on the back. If the heat hits you right up front, people are gonna drink more and more. So, looking for a sweet, especially up front overall, and then, you know, a, a nice finish. Um, things we don't want to do, we want to avoid are dry. If you want dry, drink wine. We don't want anything dry. We don't want anything with tannins that zaps your palate. So that's kind of the profile that we stuck with for 75 or more picks for the store. So just, it's what we're looking for. It's right Flesh, up my palate. A little hotter. <laughs> yeah, that's my, it's my, <laughs> my jam. So, all right. Cheers. Cheers, guys. One last thing for the ones that haven't done it before. Don't fall in love or hate your first sip. Make oh. sure you go back through a few times. Your first one is breaking your buds in, and you'll you often will love it or hate it just because it's the one shocking your system, right? So don't alienate your first one, whether left, right, middle, however you want to go about it. Just make sure you come back. And then if you have one that doesn't hit your palate and you don't like it and you've tried it twice, don't don't try to reinvent the wheel. Don't keep drinking the bad one. If you don't like it, just set it aside. Focus on the ones you like and try to narrow it down. Thank you. So here in a little bit, we can come back together and rule one out. Right? Yeah. And narrow it down from there. So. Zero, 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 one, just let it happen. Yeah, don't let them. But if we're picking a profile that's right? sweeter, four is not going to be what I would pick. That's so why I, I agree. But okay. learn from what they're saying. Oh, I yeah. love yeah. that. Yeah, I like number four. Again, yeah. for rye, I mean, we're talking 95% yeah. rye. I like number four. Um, I thought number one was a close second for me as far as, you know, one that I enjoyed as for sure. rye. Just give us your least favorite. Right? My least favorite. My least favorite was probably number three. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So we're four for four, two for three. Four. 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 All right, on the end. Me being the new guy here in my first testing, I would throw out three. Okay. 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 I'm throwing out three. All right. Three. I think yeah. it's time. I think three. Right. I think it's safe. I mean, what? Well, I, uh, I have the veto vote, so we're throwing out four. Throwing okay. Out four. Yeah. And yeah. That, was my, that was my second to the last, so. I was going to say, you take. Uh, All right, so we throw out four. Well, no, 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 no. sweeter, yeah. oily. Yeah. I, I think that's they're right. all great. Thank you. I'm biased, but so I mean, would y'all be? Would y'all want to just go ahead and throw out three and four? 
know? We might as well, because half of us had three, half of us had four. All right. I would throw out three and four. Absolutely. Let me first say that there was no one that I Oh, I know. For me, that's good. Yeah, there's not a bad one here. Absolutely. But we're picking the best. Based on the criteria that Ross Everything has asked us. Everything you all say, yeah. I'm taking it because literally you are the first people to try these, you know, like this. So well, and awesome. we're, we're kind of doing a different bias because, yes, if we are going for a straight ride. Four is four. the one. Four, oh, four, four, yeah. four, yeah. four, four is the one. Yeah, you are right. Yeah, oh, cool. yeah that so four is. It tastes like it's a ride. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Four, four yeah. is absolutely yeah. But the profile that we're going for is a sweet Someone who likes a sweet thing. Yep. And that's exactly hey, hey, what I was going to tell Ross that yeah. you know, I'm going off of what he right. wants in the store. Yep, yep. yep. So and that's the hard thing about, about tasting the profile. Seriously, it's if like, they would sell it fit to this. Us, we, if it, but luckily, I don't know. I'm just telling you, as a writer, you're the most underrated. What is that? I'm not going to I'll talk to him what I do for all my life. We don't even know what we'll do that. That's what you do at work. And as a rye, yeah, you'd be right. As a sweet rye. Not even close. Yeah. So, not even close. I've already made up my mind. I, I already know which one I like the best. Okay. Out of, out of all of these, if we're picking based on Ross's criteria, I'm exactly. I was just going to say, what is one. is Ross already made his final decision on number one? No. Ross no, not at all. Ross my still checking. only decision so far is to rule out four. Yeah. <laughs> three and four, I thought. Well, I ruled out four. I'm yeah. still ruling out three. Oh, Ross, so he's in the top three. Three is a state for target question. Yeah, so John, to go back and try to get to see if it was dry. And there are multiple people like that, that are agreeing at this point that, <laughs> that it's dry. It was dry, no doubt, that we, we would not want for this. It was sweet, it had a nice tone tingle. That was my first thought when you said it was in your top two was, oh, I thought that was dry. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. Okay. I think for nose, too, it's, it's probably one of the least that I like. Mm -hmm. Three? I thought it was good. We maybe leave a little more of one and two and then have yeah. you blind us? Yeah. Oh, definitely. So let's openly yeah. talk about one and two, and then we're going to, we'll leave some, go through that experience, especially for the new guys that haven't, and then we're going to go in there, and then he'll blind us on one and two, yeah. so we make sure we're truly going with our palates, not our brains, and what we're thinking. So we'll go feed more. Yeah, let your palates rest for a few minutes. I'll feed more, and then I'll come out here, or come back in, pour them into some blank errands, and then I'll have you all go out there so you don't see where I place yeah. it. Yeah, well, do you want to ask me? Mike, go ahead and start, bud. All right, so my profile is exactly what you're looking for, sweet. I'm not a big rye drinker, but when I find something that's sweet, I don't care rye or bourbon, it's, it's sweet. So both, Going through my list, um, one and two both hit me as sweet. Going through them a couple of times, I think they're both sweet to me, but I like two because I, it's that mid finish that brings a different complexity to me or a different taste to me. So it's sweet and then the mid finish is something I like and then it's a, a medium finish. I had them all about the same uh, finish, um, but it's that mid, it's, it's a longer sweetness on my palate, which is why I'm liking um, two, so that's my thoughts. Two, okay, yeah. thank you. Short and sweet, I think that he hit the mark on sweet, and you want sweet for the store. Number two crosses sweet on all three attempts. Nice. I appreciate that you went through it multiple times I, and didn't focus I, on I'm your first love. Thank you very much for letting <laughs> me be involved. You're very welcome. Yeah. Number one, I had a little on the oily side, mild fruit, and a mild nut. Love the nose on it. But number two, I had a light heat, moderate fruit, and a mild nut kind of flavor on it. Um, uh, both of them were, were pretty close to one another. 
I, I thought they were both both very good. I, honestly, I thought the whole flight was good. You know. Oh I, yeah, yeah. Definitely nothing that I would have turned my nose up at. And but but uh, you know, one and two are both both good for sure. Pick one of the two though. I went with number one for number one. Number one. So I've picked number two over number one. Same thing, we've got a, a lighter, uh, sweeter taste to it. I will tell you, I'm now starting to have my doubts because now we've had these exposed to air for a while, and now number two actually to me is actually tasting a little bit spicier. I'm very curious to taste number two freshly thieved against number two that's been sitting here for the last hour or so to see what I like. So I'm, I'm, uh, I might actually be waffling a little bit. I, pro I apologize, Ross, that's not something I normally do. Sorry, man. Honesty is what I want more than anything. So thank you. Ed? Kind of to his point, like, I was going with number two because it still honors, like, the spice you get from a rye while still giving you a lot of sweet. And I got a lot of sweet from one, but kind of to his point, like, sitting here, like, I'm getting, like, really great taste as it's just sitting here open. Like, so I'm, I'm waffling too, but... I'd, I'd still go two just because you get kind of the best of the both worlds where you're still getting the sweet, but then it's honoring the rye, in my opinion. Do you money? Um, I'm right there with him. I mean, we hit sweet multiple times. I thought there was a little bit more heat in the nose on number two that turned into sweet up front and then a little bit of heat on the back. Um, oil was oil mouthfeel was similar for me on both of them, uh, and taste was... Uh, Slightly different, but I did like two more overall. Cool. Um, my favorite ryes are like Michter's 10 rye, the Kentucky All Rye, batch one only. Um, I like the Willet ryes. I like the sweet ryes with a little bit of the traditional, but the sweet up front too. Um, I think I'm leaning to one. You know, most of you guys are doing two, so I'm interested for the blinds. But I lean towards one. If I had to pick between the two, uh, two wasn't in my top profile the first run through. I think I was more focused on getting four out. Sorry, Derek. Um, <laughs> but uh, coming back to two now, I as it sits, yeah. <laughs> as it sits for 30 minutes, I'm getting I'm getting heat on two. And I know you guys liked it initially, but it's interesting that I'm, I'm getting heat on it. And two of you have said. You're picking a little heat now that it's sat for a minute. So, so I think we'll go out there. We'll we'll look at some barrels. Uh, we'll let them sit for a minute and and see what they do. I think I think Vince's super cool. He's not in a hurry. We can let him sit for a minute, get some air to it, and see. I want to make sure it's good. Ten minutes into it, not initial first pour. Uh, but if I had pressed to the fire, I would vote one today. My initial taste of uh, one was was a was I, it came off a little hot and a bit dry to me. Um, you know, nose I thought was fantastic, but the nose on two was a little less, still pretty good. I found that to be um, uh, a little bit more oily myself, and a bit more balanced, reasonable sweet notes. Um, you know, first first strike through out of all four, I, I think that was generally my number one or number two pick. I think it was going from two or three. You know, I, I kind of rolled out three because it kind of gave me a little bit more of the negative wood effects. But so we went back to two. So right now I'm I'm teetering on on two, but as it's oxidizing a bit, I am kind of getting the point of you're making on one. So. I could potentially go both ways. I mean, if I had to choose right now, be, we know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I would, I would vote two right now. All right. So what's that score? Uh, me and Derek picked right, and <laughs> <laughs> that's the score. No, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, it's one, two, two, definite number twos. Three, two, but I'm starting to like one more, and then two picked one. So it's literally two ones, two twos, and three. Maybe. Kind of, I, I think I'm changing a little bit as it said. So we'll, we'll step out. Yeah, let step you. out there. Don't observe the barrels too much. Might spoil. Uh, yeah. Or might not. It doesn't really matter. 
But uh, yeah, give your palates a break. Vince, can you do us a favor there? Yeah. For any of the, the number ones, number twos that are sitting in the holders, can we leave them there? The, the ones that actually have some in there? Okay. I'd like to compare those after having sat versus the fresh stuff that you're about ready to okay. thief out. I, I would like yeah. to do that if we could, yeah. please. Okay. Thank you. Cool. What? We're not picking that one. <laughs> that barrel's empty. Number four, so no, we're not picking that one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, good. They might become more affordable all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> there is that side. This one's got more in it than, than two does. One's got more, yep. four's got least. <laughs> that thing is. All right, so there's an economic dis factor into so this. this the four roses. I picked a four roses barrel that had 40 something bottles in it. <laughs> yeah. And it so was an amazing barrel to be sure. I I was. Had, <laughs> how many of those bottles did you get Ross? Uh, I think I have seven. I have three at this point if that tells you anything that was amazing but there were 42 bottles. 42 bottles. The owner kept two so 40 made it to general distro yeah. and we, oh, have, yes, we have 10 of the 40 between the two of us. But um, I, then we did another roses and walking through, they have end caps on it, so we love that. Like you can't, you can't cheat. You can't look at the recipe because most of the time, if you can see the recipes, you're gonna pick an old because that's the desirable barrel, um, unless you know of a hot run or something. So they put a end cap on it. So before we even tasted them, knew what the recipe was, we were on a felt them, and one was half full. So no matter how good that was, we didn't want that barrel. Yeah. Because there's an four, economic. Four yeah. roses are so hard to get. You want maximum barrels. So yeah, that's why I checked it. But that that barrel feels at least half empty. Like there's no. Uh, it's more than. Oh, there's there's, there's, there's like, no weight. There's no resistance to yeah. it at all. I, I don't even hear sloshing. I hate to tell you this, but these are probably three. They, oh, they are. They yeah, are. They're, they're, one, they're two, in three, order. They're, yeah. Oh, they are? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they will typically do I was like, these are wet, too. That's why he told us not to look <laughs> when he thieved it. Yeah, they're not, they're not trying to be tax. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm all for giving them on as many bottles as, as we can. So, but good so, bottles. So, like, Heaven Hill, it's super easy to see the code on the end. Heaven Hill doesn't cover them. You walk into Heaven Hill, you do a little... Uh, letter equate to the month math and you can tell exactly how old the Heaven Hill pick is. Um, these don't have anything that I can decipher. They're all the same DSP KY2037. So the only thing is, it makes common sense, serial number goes in order. So we have 106, 410, 106, 384. That does not have a serial number on it. There's hardly any difference between the two that we're contemplating. 106, 232, so that's older it's than both of them. Too, so it's, it's up there. I think oh, these are our four. Oh, they, they moved to half the thing. Yeah, that one doesn't say. Uh, oh, we got a fifth barrel? barrel? No. Is no, that a bonus? That's, four. <laughs> that's not our. <laughs> it's possible that if we twisted their arm and said we don't like any of them, that might be the barrel that's out for us yeah, to try. Right. That's, that has happened before. So that's yeah, possible. Yeah, all these, yeah, see. Mike, can you get a picture of this cherry wood stuff? That's so neat how they. Alternate with oh, the cherry yeah. wood and the. Let's see if I can get the light without me getting shadow in. Jack Daniels pick, the Sinatra. Everyone was convinced Sinatra was just a chain around the neck of the bottle, and they said that's not, or the Church. I mean, not Sinatra. That's not the case. Eric Church actually goes and tastes a blend. Oh, and so the Eric Church bottles are different than your everyday JD bottles. Because I thought it was just a neck tag. I'm like, I'm going to go on Amazon. One of those is leaking. Yeah, yes it is. <laughs> and it smells really nice too. It's leaking like right here. Yeah. So, sometimes it's good to have a puddle. I don't know if it's the girls above us or like five bubbles up. I have no idea, but they, there was a drink right here. By the time we drink like our uh, <laughs> sixth and seventh samples, I might, uh, I might try to look through Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> successful. I just like was not too thrilled. No. Yeah, just what do you like here? Left, right. Just think of what you like here. All new product. 
Yeah. I'm going to do a blonde with you. Nice. Like you blinded yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So, do yeah. you do it, I'll shuffle them for you. And then oh, I know. I'll just like have to mix them around. Yeah. And then I won't look at them. Yeah. 15 minutes later, we're going to get our We're also going to be a little cooler oh. right now. Just right now, oh, because you just thieved them. <laughs> yeah, I've got them mixed up. I don't know. All right. You do not. Yeah. They were that. So that's the enzymes that we put into the yeah. cookers while it's cooking. But then there's like a polko amylase or something. I don't score by the second one. Must just be another. I've never heard of that one. Before. I know they add in those enzymes to. Uh, that's going to jump start that process that, or breaks down and, uh, you know, but usually, usually when you're like doing beer, you know, that's the, 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 the grain that brings out the amylase and, and helps you with the rest of the stuff. But I think even like, it's just because it's such a big batch, that whole batch. We have our friends blind us all the time. My wife hates Buffalo Trace. Our friends will, will blind Buffalo Trace every time. And my wife will pick Buffalo Trace every time. It's like you hate them, but you always pick it. Yeah, she's, she's got a uh, month in and, and quarter in, so... She's got to do all the books. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's the day job. She's a uh, corporate controller. You just don't control You wouldn't yeah. really believe it unless you're playing in this world. So where you guys thinking? Getting close? I think so. We'll, we'll start on this end this time. Okay. Yeah. I'm the newest in this group, and I'm a bonus. Let me start, please. You got it. What's your target roll? First of all, thank you for letting me be part of this. I was not supposed to be part of this. Thank you very much, both Ross and the director here. Um, I am very open and very, very brutally honest with my food. So this is this is very cool to me, and I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I've gone off what Ross wants, and I'm not a rye guy. Ed's not a rye guy. I've learned a lot from these two right here, so thank you too. Uh, but I, I think if we're going to go with what Ross is looking for for the store pick and to sell our bottle and barrel. Number two has changed my palate. I've learned a lot today, and number two is easily. So left, 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 right, 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 right or left? Left or right? Right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. All right, so you took right. All right. We'll jump back down here. I'll go here. Right. He's still trying to figure out. I'm uh, left. Left? Okay. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I didn't dislike right, but both passes through, I, I I chose left over right. Okay. Uh, yeah, so with both of mine, I thought the right had a little bit more heat, which is more the traditional. So I do have left circle to kind of go with more of the pick that we geared towards. Um, a little less oil on the left and more sweetness on the left as well. Okay, left. Uh, I'm going with the left just because sweetness carries. I actually added drops of water, which I don't typically do, and I got a lot more heat out of that, and that would make me a little nervous on what we're going for. All right, choosing the left then. So I'm going to tell you guys, I, I tasted these, and I, I suspect very strongly that Vince has placed in front of us one and two in the same order they originally were, yeah. and one still tastes so hot, that's brand new, two tastes sweeter to me, but once you have got that bottle open for a while, you're going to get a sweeter profile out of probably number one, and I think that number one is probably the one that we should be picking based on Ross's criteria. So number one being left? left. I, I am saying... Most likely, the, I mean, would you like to confirm? No, no, before we, no, no, we don't okay. want no, no. Okay. Right. At, at the, the end, will you confirm? That's that's exactly. right. that's, yeah, we would like to know at the end, obviously. But yeah. 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 Or you're saying left. What do you like, John, for uh, that be profile? Between these two? Yeah. Oh, between, the, between these two, without having an air exposure, this one is better. Oh, but two? Suspect, so you're calling out two. I suspect two. that, that one thinking? is actually is actually the better because it's going to get air. It's going to be open for a while. Unless somebody's drinking this in a night. 
So I guess I'm going to need to hear what Vince has to say in terms of what he's done. I'm going to tell you for sure. I can't cancel. Yeah, I think he paid for left. I, I can't. Left. I know. All right, Garrett, please help us. Uh, okay. Please. So I thought both noses as, as kind of a caramel. Um, they were both sweet. I thought the left was a little less sweet than the right. Um, I thought the right had a little more front finish, uh, or a little more front to finish sweetness. I like number two. Okay, to the right. To the right. Michael, Mike. you, have, you have a very Mike, tough the camera for him, so he can get that. All right. Oh, he's turning it on himself. There you go. Got it. He's got a fancy. All right. He's a professional. So, again, I'm sticking with my profile of sweet, because I love sweet. So if it's caramel, if it's, if it's cream brulee, if it's toasted marshmallow, that's what I'm going for. Whether it's rye, whether it's bourbon, whether it's Irish whiskey. So I'm going with number two, which right, is the right. right. Ooh, right's got the lead. So you think number one and two are Vince, same. would you like to clarify for us what I you am. did with, with the glasses? Oh, you, you got you one more uh, Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going left. left. You're going left? Left? Yeah. Okay. So you, he's got to make a choice. Uh, I didn't Wait, switch. Wow. We're in the same order. Yep. So left was one, right was two. So that, that tells me that I like left better you can't, if it has not, air. <laughs> if we are talking about an open bottle, yep. then, then number one, the original number one, left, is absolutely the one I would pick based on what... what uh, Ross is looking for for a profile. Neither one of these are bad whiskeys. In fact, none of these were bad whiskeys. And if we're looking for a standard rye profile, I still say so. Number four was left. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Four yeah. less of the cherry. So it's four to three, left to right. If John, I'm confused on. So it's four to three, maybe four to four. I don't know. I know. If you're looking for a so it's going to be left for me based on the fact that this has had air and it's open versus this one that has been freshly poured. If we're talking about, we just popped a bottle, I'm going for this one. If you're talking about this thing's been open for a few weeks, number it'd be number one or left. That, that's, that, so do with that with what you would like. What were your thoughts, <laughs> left or right? Let's use him as the tiebreaker. And I agree with you. I like it's number two, two right? right. Yes. Uh, from the very first. All right, right, so Jerry. Right. Are you doing your personal one. kind of? Yeah, are you going off the I don't want to have any say in what you are want to the criteria? Or no, I'm just person. using what I thought tastes. Yeah, use he's, the criteria. He's, he's going for sweet, oily. Like, like yeah. Number one, like one like definitely. Like I mean, and I was going by his criteria, yeah. which is my complete palate. Awesome. Yeah. Number one is like a honey, like, yeah. Sugary bomb, you know? Yeah, it, it's the sweet. And that's why I like what you're going. I think that's what you're That's the best one. It's left, then... That was one. Yeah, left was one, right was two. Oh, so you did them the same order. I don't have yeah, to switch. Yeah. Same one time, that's what I was trying to tell you. I used to change it up, and, and one time... Well, no, tell us you might change it up. We're going to be back next year. <laughs> <laughs> next year, maybe I will. Yeah. yeah. I'm 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 but I'll tell you, one time, more I, heavy I switched it. The the and I wrote it because... But then this group, they had to be second guesses myself. They're like, ah, this is, that's not it. This is this one. And I'm like, no, it's over. So from that point on, I was like, I won't switch. It's going to be the same one. Maybe next year. Hey, next, next year for you yeah. all. Why not? Ross, you all know. You, you, know. you talk economics out there, and it's about the barrel and how many um, bottles we get out of it. Yeah, factor in Amon's sales. Did that factor into this? Because your, your decision ultimately... Is it's, it's as long as it's not four. Four was yeah. the partial. We all agree on that. Yes. Yes. So that's like, so that's so like the so like yeah. yeah. you want that one. That, that, that feels like there's less than 10 gallons left in that barrel. It, 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 it's, it's got, got more than that. Four was a little lower. I'll tell you. Let me give you the spec. You know, they go back and they fill it up with some random barrel anyway. So, no. All right, let's stop. <laughs> so one, two, and three were five months in the cherry. Okay. Number one was... A light toast barrel, two and three were medium toast barrels. So it was interesting to me that three, most of y'all ruled out, and two, a lot of you all liked when they're literally like sister barrels. Like they're almost identical, yeah. right? Okay. One being the light toast, uh, according to West Virginia, a little lower heat will bring out sweeter flavors. So on par with what you all said, lighter toast, lower heat. More sweetness, less, you know, wood flavor because you're mm. just burning it up at some point. Number four 
is kind of an outlier between these three. It's been in that cherry wood barrel for 14 months now. It's a medium toast, but it's been in there for 14 months. It, it has a more, more rye forward character. Yes. Anything else that was in front of us, and if I were picking for a rye, for me, I would pick number four. But if we're picking up yeah, on Ross's criteria, it's got to be number four. Number one was like two or three were medium. Two, three, and four were all medium. But number four was 14 months in the cherry wood, where one, two, and three were five months in the cherry wood. Okay. And three, for me personally, had not the greatest nose, but the taste was phenomenal. Yeah. But the tiebreaker for me was the nose, like a two. But yeah, to the criteria, obviously. Number one four, or I'm sorry, number one, 119.4 proof. What were the other proofs on the other proof? Two was 119.8. Three was 119.4, four was 117.7. They were still within a couple of yeah, points each other. They were very, very not close. Yep. You would taste. I'm going to challenge you. Okay. So, you taste and you smell. Which, you, which one are you going to buy? I actually smell then taste. And based off of that, three surprised me. But me, I would actually buy four like him. Okay. Because I'm thinking right. No, but in general. Do you buy based on smell or based on the taste? Definitely. Okay. All right. Yeah. Ross, the big question is, which barrel are we picking? Are we do, are we going with number one or are we going with number two? You guys can keep debating. What? <laughs> <laughs> I already, I already one. know which one you're going. Yeah. 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 Congrats to your pick, buddy. Yeah. It's gonna that, that, that makes a difference. Oh, it, it really does. I because, went back. because initially, yeah, one was so hard. hot and harsh. I was like, nope. And I, But I've tasted through it. I'm like, kept going, kept going. I'm like, no, this one's wow. mellow. All right. So the consensus oh, is it's kind of split. But we're going with number one, which is the left. I pick number two, which is the right, but go with whatever's going to make best sense for Amon in the Kalamazoo Texas Mart liquor store. So that's where we're going to go. I went left. Kurt went left. And then we had three to the right. So one, two, three, four, five to the left, three to the right. If Vince picked for our profile, he went left too. So it's six to three. But I'll tell you guys, if we went home with two, I wouldn't have been bummed at all. I, I think right. tasting them fresh, I picked one. Taste them, in, you know, sitting, this is your two, right? This is accurate? This isn't a, this, this is a pretty, somebody's going to go home with a pretty nice barrel. I, oh, yeah. Honestly, Ross, I think that that actually, number two, Gets spicier as it sits. That, that was the reason why I could I said we wouldn't do that for for the, what you're asking for a profile. I, I had the word spicy my second time around. <laughs> That's the exact reason I. But one started out so spicy, I almost I almost excluded it, but I kept tasting through them. And four to me was was abs absolutely if you want to rye. So you had a hardcore rye guy. Four was the one I, I would have. Did you buy any left? Right? Or is that your left? Ed, can I try that? This one? Yeah. Oh, that's a blend. Note. That's a blend. We both blended ours. Yeah. Here, it's, it's a blend. you want it's you want two or you want right? Left. Right. Left. The one we're looking at picking. I just want to try it one more time. That's that's the left. Thank you, Derek. We've shared a bathtub, so we can definitely share. A yeah. <laughs> and he gave me number four. Oh, uh, but we we had our underwear on. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It was over the top. Yeah. And and this one starts to get a little hotter. I agree. Two gets hotter yeah. and one gets it gets gets uh, one, sweeter. One yeah. starts out, or excuse me, number two starts out. They're, they're they both for each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we can't lose. Yeah, yeah. 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 Air exposure <laughs> makes a big difference. Out, if we weren't doing <laughs> number one finishes three picks this week and one last week. Well, Ross, do you remember the, remember the remember the Green River Barrel last year? I was like, eh, it's the best one, but and then you said it turned out to be amazing. That's what number one's doing. That's exactly what number one's doing. That Green River Barrel from last. Last year, we sold out in like a couple weeks. It, yeah. it just now I was not grabbing a bottle of it. But again, this one is going to do that same thing. It's going to be. It's, people are going to taste it. They go, it's hot. Better. We're going to let it sit for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Everybody, this is amazing. If they're looking for that sweet profile, they're going to. That's what they're going to do. 
how how amazing did Green River yeah. end up being? Like, oh, that's a great. Street. So fun, that was fun great. story. Was say. We did we did a blind tasting. Yep. Okay? And my theme for the night was single barrels. I had a single barrel uh, Weller full proof. I had a single barrel E H Taylor. I had the Green River pick, and then they. For some reason, somebody brought like a green label blend. We tried all of them. Eighty percent of the people's number one pick was green river. Out of that one, that was Ross and I. Ross and I agreed on that. So one. oily yeah. sweet, like everybody. Number two was the Mega Bam, which I think he did, and the pick here, the E H Taylor, because it was like straight corn. Like, well, that, that looks great, though. Yeah, yeah it's smart. Yeah. Y'all hang tight. I gotta grab some for you. Thank you, bud. Is there a restaurant right there? Yes, right there. That was hard. That was yeah. hard. That was uh, hard. Uh, I, I, I like to call for this. It, we would have been, we would have won with either one of those barrels. That's great. That's the best thing you Thank can you, hope sir. for. Doing a barrel pick. Yeah. You know, Thank you very much. having to this having to amazing. debate and go back and forth and do yep. a blind, like phenomenal. Oops, sorry. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Oh, great at grace. I have more like. Do we all? <laughs> we, <laughs> have, <laughs> do we, we all have to sign it. Oh, I've got a part. I'm the ninth. All right. Okay. I think I know the answer. I think there's at least three of them. Anybody that's never thieved before? One, two, three. Ed, yep. right? I know me, John, Kurt have. Yep. Mike, you haven't thieved, have you? Oh, uh, yeah. You've done yeah. thieved. Yeah. yeah, you're just bottling for three days. Yes. <laughs> You've done plenty. I was a right. bourbon right. pursuit. Oh, yeah. Derek, thieve my uh, bottle. So it works like a straw. Put it down, you and put your thumb on it, when right you pull it you. up, it's gonna have juice in it. And do you want a full yeah. thing of juice? Oh yeah. <laughs> Fill it all the way up. <laughs> more, more. Go ahead and wait till he's I'm done. Yeah, deeper, right. longer, yeah, wait. faster. Oh wait, no. Thank That's you, Spider Man. Keep going. Yeah. Boom, thumb it. <laughs> Usually I got two hands yeah. to play with. But. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy. Okay. Oh, intruders. Derek. You want me to hold your bottle for you? Derek, you're out. Go. If you spill it, you have to look it up. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not my role, but. Come on, let me get the. This is sign, guys. Oh, you're a lefty, too. Yeah. Wait, are you? Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Ready? One, two, three, go. Texas. Add it in. Boom. Let go. Boom. <laughs> Back. In. All right. But Ed, you still got a thieve, right? Yeah. Are we gonna sand the barrel up before we're done? Um. Ed, hold on. Can I want you to? Great host, Vince. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you all coming. That's some sort of luck. Always <laughs> a pleasure. The bourbon gods have smiled. Thank the you, bourbon sir. gods have smiled on Ross. I just got shit on oh. from above. <laughs> oh, you got drip, drip right, on? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice. Well, let's see if I can do it myself. I, I have my doubts about that, especially after <laughs> drinking, but... Everybody on the barrel? Everybody get theirs? So hang on to those bottles and I'll put the labels on them. The label's gonna stick. Yeah, that's why I needed the bottle to dry yeah. off a little bit. Mine is definitely a little uh, saturated. Yep. I think I might have a little <laughs> So if there's airspace in there, guys, you do the wrong. So you do it. <laughs> oh, dang it. Everybody sign? Oh, you're in there, Vince. You want me to? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, look. Oh, absolutely. You just got me too. Nice. I forgot yeah. about that. Oh, so you just stand here with your mouth open? That's all it is? <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Cool. Y'all want to do a group photo? Yes, please. Hey, man. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. There we go. All right. We'll get through the rope.
<laughs> now I look skinny. You can't see me. Can't you see? Come on. This is a big deal. And we appreciate it tremendously. Everybody hold up a number one. All right. Three, two, one. Gotcha. Awesome. Yeah. First First. What's your next role, Vince? I don't know. Matt CEO. Hey, Vince, whatever <laughs> role is next, remember you love Texas Smart, Kalamazoo, Michigan. I know. I do. I do. And, and no matter what, we want you to be our, our uh, distiller, our, Listen, our, our, our taster for this. You can yeah. be VIP with a oh, yeah. private yeah. parking spot, and we still want you to lead our barrel picks. Absolutely. Hey, we'll see. We've started a tradition. Two years in a row so far. We're going to make it at least three. Uh, you know, could be. Back next year. Hopefully I'll I'll be around. Third, third year, Thank you, sir. Picks. Uh, that, that, yeah. That's what we need to do. Third year, three picks. We need to do some of that. We did some rye and and the uh, rye based bourbon both. Yes. Yeah, all, all of those. See what yes, we can do. Is. I'm I'm fighting for the weed. And we'll see what they'll give. I am me. so excited. Are they six years old next year? We've got um, some hitting market later this year. So are they, are they up to that? Because that seems to be where you're Yeah, no, they'll be six, six years this nice. year. Yeah. Nice. That'd so they, that's the thing is they were just a couple years behind like the other awards. Maybe we could do the first weed next year. I'm going to take a picture awesome. of it.